Joshua Otim is busy putting final touches to some of his art pieces. In his art studio found in Tinder, a Kampala suburb, Otim says he has practiced this profession since childhood. I can say I've been for a long period of time. I started doing art, uh, a like a, a business art. I started doing it when I was in senior four. By then, I was doing mostly, I was doing mostly badges, printing, and uh, as well as uh, making signposts in one of the studio there in upcountry. To further acquire professional skills in art, Otim decided to pursue a bachelor's degree in art and design at Chambogo University. It has been one year since Otim left university. However, he is already facing some challenges executing his profession in terms of business. The current dollar performance hinders him from accessing basic art requirements. Uh, they have increased the, the prices basing on the, basing on the dollar. They increased the, 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 the drop in uh, Ghana shillings. So they have increased every paint I buy with 5,000. So that one is kind of becoming more, more hard for me to buy those paints as I used to stock those paints for my art pieces. The challenge I also get is uh, since uh, my, my art exhibition, I do it on the, on the street. Uh, it is, uh, there is this challenge of KCC here, which who, who, who mostly they confiscate people's properties, uh, people who are selling on the roadside. The art industry in Uganda is still growing and could be worth $1 billion a year by 2016. According to statistics released by Bank of Uganda, art comprises of 7% of Uganda's workforce. Hope is that more youth can borrow a leave from a team so as to fight the unemployment plague. I want to be successful in the art business. What I, I, I propose is the he or she should, uh, should be focused, first of all, and we should be trustworthy. And what he is doing should not be copying people's work and pasting them just. He should, he should get inspired from the nature nature and uh, the culture in this country and then you, you do your competition out of those. Otim works through thick and thin depending on what his clientele desire. Art in Uganda is looked at as a product for only foreign consumption which calls for the need for change of mindsets. As for us who are doing art, there's a, there's a way we promote tourism in this country so I, I feel it was right for us to do the public ex exhibition on those on our, on, our, on our art pieces, yeah. The art business is a talent-oriented industry that needs to be appreciated in fighting unemployment and improving standards of living in Uganda. With the current education system that yields more youth as job seekers, more than job creators, it is important that one is creative enough to find sources of survival. Nancy Okuong, WBS Business.